Previously on Danganronpa, another episode. Holy Junko worshipping! This is like half my fan base right here. Now back to the despair! Hello! Sneako B, back with some more Danganronpa, another episode. We last left off, we uh, reached the final room. Well, I, I'm guessing this is probably the final room. If it's not, there's still more. I'll be shocked, but I'm pretty sure once I go through that door, this is gonna be the end of the line, baby. The final countdown, or the, the final moments at least. We also read a bit about of our uh, kids and it made me sympathize with them a lot more because good God almighty, their parents were a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> bunch of fucking douchebags. But now, uh, I think Monica is waiting for us at that door and I believe this will probably be the final episode. Unless this is like, unless this extends out like, I don't know, beyond two hours or something. Jeez. The atmosphere in here is practically screaming final <laughs> boss fight. I know, right? We always need it. We always need a big fancy door right before the end. Toko? That's like game we're 101. We're all right, aren't we? We've come now this far already. Don't go freaking out now. They should be scared of us. I've got scissors and you've got a megaphone. Together we're unstoppable. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. After all, we're a powerful team. Yeah. Wait, powerful team? Can't you think of a cooler name than that? How about the Horny Rangers? <laughs> Why can you think of one? You're the ultimate writing prodigy after all. Yeah, you're right. I'll think of something after the happy ending. Yeah, after the happy ending. Don't say, say that. It's like, it's like Kamara was saying with raising the death flags. Da -da -da. Day, day. Well, at least you're playing my favorite song in the whole wide world. All right, let's fuck. Let's fucking murder this bitch. I'm sick and tired of Monica and her crazy, crazy shenanigans. Up. Oh. Hey, 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 so you finally decide to show up, huh? Oh, cool. Do I get to kill you first? Yes, that makes it even better. So slow. This isn't a manga. It shouldn't take a whole year for a day to pass. It's pronounced Monica, you bitch! A black Monokuma? <laughs> of course! What is he? He looks vulgar. Can't believe it took this long for the game to show me to the main characters! I'm the main villain! One of them! I'm important too! Hey, fuck off, Four Eyes! Yeah. I wouldn't expect some pasty Four Eyes emo chick to understand my charm! I get no respect. Yo, I'm so baller, if a professional musician ever came to my concert, they'd retire the next day. I'd make them choke on the haterade, and you're gonna be choking too when I'm done with you. You can't say haterade, that's copyrighted! What is this thing? Blabbering on with its nonsense. Could it? Does it have an AI like Shirokuma? Did you say Shirokuma? So you know him, huh? How's little bro doing? Ah, ha, ha. Of course, and they would be related. We had the the evil evil twin brother and then the, the good twin brother. Brothers? Well, he's like a brother. We bear folks stick together, you know. But that ain't important. Don't you think it's strange, huh? Weird? I'm talking about why Monica ain't here. To tell you the truth, it's nap time for little Monica. Oh, come on. Tell her to get her ass out of here. Oh, by the way, that ladder over in the corner there reminds me. You guys are saying, like... Wait a minute. If this is Monica's room. How is it up a fucking ladder? <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point. How did she get up the ladder? That just seems like a bit out of the way. That just seemed like a bit of a uh, something they overlooked in the story, doesn't it? <laughs> Nap time. Unless oh, yeah, you can actually walk or something. After all. She wore herself out being all hyped up. Ah. What? What is this? If you're brave enough chicks to disturb her nap, you can always try opening the door. Which door? Hell if I know. Monica made this little trap to keep out big melts like me, see? If you open the wrong door, blammo! Instant death! <laughs> Hello, <laughs> nasty! <laughs> really? We're gonna resorting to instant death moves? But if you leave her be, she'll sleep for like three years. Now what you what you gonna do? Hurry, choose! Damn it, you're making me impatient! What you gonna do when I come for you? Tomorrow, you've seen that Monica kid before, right? So what do you think? Any idea which door she would choose? Oh, and that is it, isn't it? 
That is what, okay. That's what the significance of having that ladder there was and why we even remarked on it. It's, it, it is, it's, it's suggesting that she actually can walk, right? She's not in the wheelchair, so we're gonna have to climb that ladder. It's gonna be the very top one, right? Hmm. Rather than choose, it's more like, which would she even be able to access? Does her voice seem deeper? You know, it, it, I've noticed this. Some of you guys actually brought this up, but you were like, she actually like intentionally, some of you guys said the voice actress intentionally made her voice deeper to make her sound more confident. I honestly didn't notice it at all, except for like a few points where she was like walking around with Fukawa and she would just say something out loud while I, I, I was still in control. And I was like, her voice sounds different there. Like it sounds deeper, but I like, it actually almost sounded like a different person was uh, reading the lines. I just figured that they recorded those additional lines at different times and maybe, I don't know, she had a frog in her throat that day or something, you know? Honestly, in the other cutscenes where she's talked to her normally, she, she didn't sound deeper to me. But now she does. Now she is talking here, she sounds deeper. Uh, maybe just because I noticed it now or... But, but before, I don't know, she didn't sound... She didn't sound that deep. But it can't be that simple. He said it's a trap, so it can't be easy. Yeah, you're right. Are you sure? Okay. If you solve this quiz, you won't get to hear all the bitchin' lines I worked on. Can I just kill you? <laughs> oh, come on. That's bullshit. You're a monocume. I should be able to blow you up and murder you. Oh, why would you want to do that? My movie's for monocume. Or I can just go through this door and say, fuck you. You can go see her. You can walk this door to the ending credits. Your choice. All right, I'm done. <laughs> hey, no! I, I had a cool boss fight. She had a cool boss fight. We're going to have some cool revelations and shit. Okay, so the game. Oh, the, this is a ramp. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. The title of voice of a generation hasn't been taken yet, so. Shut up. <laughs> come on, stop taking this so seriously and help me come up with ways we can combine together <laughs> so she can actually walk is what the, the game is I'm trying to say all right gotcha okay i thought it was something i, I thought it would have been weird if it was like she like uh, oh good morning good morning and she's got a spine printed on her dress that was weird. <laughs> she stood up. Monica is standing. What are the odds of that? You probably already knew that, didn't you? Although, honestly, I mean, if she lied about a bunch of other shit, and it doesn't really surprise me if she would lie if she was actually handicapped. Huh. I thought that's Haiji's line. I knew it. You can stand. Your legs aren't paralyzed. <laughs> it looks really weird that she has a... Has her sp has a spine printed on the back of her dress there. <laughs> if you can see this, that means I'm walking. Oh, would you look at that? You're totally right. And you were like that from the beginning, right? You just pretended to be disabled. Uh, don't tell me you saw my secret room, didn't you? Ah, uh, okay. All right. So that was all part. All part of the game's design, Nico. All according to Kameda's stupid plan. Yeah, whatever. So that was your room. I saw the photo of you and Junko, so I figured that was your room. It looks like she's in the wheelchair in that picture, too. <laughs> but something didn't add up. To even get to that room, you have to climb up a ladder. There's no way you would make a place like that your room if your legs were disabled. Yeah. All right. I see. So that's how you figured it out. I'm glad that at least wasn't like an, an oversight by the developers. I was just like, was like that's kind of weird. <laughs> you might have a stupid looking face, but you sure are pretty smart. Although now I'm kind of curious, what would the doors that linked us to death have been? Would there been like a, would a boxing glove come out? Would a, what would happen? How would I die? Uh, I wonder. But we'll never know. Why pretend that you're disabled? Cause I'm fucking crazy. Because pitiful children are the most powerful, don't you think? Huh? Mm. Monica's home life was terrible. She didn't feel like she belonged there. Yes, yeah, because everyone thought you were a weirdo. <laughs> You're fucking insane. And they were right! <laughs> but Monica was more brilliant than her brother or her father. 
They hated her for it. But then, I thought of a way I could counter their neglect and cruelty. All I had to do was become a pitiful figure. Then, I would have the whole world's sympathy. Yeah. The wheelchair was inconvenient, of course. But thanks to the act, I acquired much. I even acquired the Warriors of Hope. And Papa and Big Brother were a little nicer to me, too. They thought they were the reason I ended up in a wheelchair, so they really pitied me. What reason did she come up with? Like, that she like that she was paralyzed. I mean, how did she fake that anyway? Didn't they have to take her to a doctor at some point? <laughs> Stop asking questions! Just, just roll with it! You tricked everyone all this time. You... You're the worst. You're more awful than all the other kids. Maybe. But to survive in that horrible world, I had to be. Is there gonna be anything sympathetic about you, I wonder? Or is she gonna be just like Junko? I don't know, like, to me, there wasn't anything sympathetic at all about Junko, you know? It wasn't anything like... Like, like, oh wow, I can see why she ended up being a total psychopath, you know? It, And I mean, for these other kids, on the other hand, it's like, oh, well, fuck, I can totally see why, you know, they ended up being messed up. But I have a feeling you're probably not going to be that way. When Monica talks, everyone freezes. When Monica smiles, everyone stops smiling. For Monica, the outsider, the eyesore, to survive in that house, she did what she had to do. I want to ask you, the Papa and Big Brother you mentioned, are they from the Toa family? Oh, so you know that much too. <laughs> ha! Told you, Fukawa! What the dick? So you could actually see ghosts? Yeah, that little thing I briefly mentioned in like chapter three, it was actually came true. It ended up becoming a really awkward, poorly put together scene. <laughs> That was, I that, I gotta say, that scene was just weird for me, like, I, I get what they were, I sort of get what they were trying to do, because they were trying to make, like, sort of a joke about the thing that she brought up a while back, but, I don't know, maybe it's just a cultural difference, but to me, I just, it just seems, just seems stupid, like, they could have done that a note or something, but, like, I mean, we, it's not like this game has ever brought up ghosts before, I, I don't know, I guess, I, I'm probably just being picky, I'm probably just being a picky penguin, shut up! <laughs> wasn't a hallucination the ghost was real I gotta say I, I don't Kamaru the, per, the voice actors changing Kamaru's voice I wonder if the if that was something like the developer or something has her to do but I gotta say I really don't like that decision I don't know it, she I mean I can understand being like when you get more confident in yourself maybe you speak a little differently but your tone of voice doesn't necessarily change you know you don't like you know, I start in sort of a high-pitched voice to talking like this all the time. Yes, now I am the Lord of all Lords or something. You know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't think at least. It just sounds kind of weird to me, just because it makes it sound like a different character. It was kind of the problem I was running into. It's like this is kind of like the thing I was running into with Akaba when you guys were like, "Oh, make it sound less like a mad scientist." Well, the mad scientist is kind of the voice that I gave him. So if I make him sound less like a sci mad scientist, it just sounds like a different character altogether. You know. And, uh, so what would the, then I had to ask myself, what would Okabe sound like if he weren't a mad scientist? That would just sort of be like my regular voice. <laughs> you know, I don't know. So for me, I would have just preferred to just keep the normal voice, but anyway. It's a coincidence. Delusion and fantasy with a little coincidence mixed in. I don't know what's going on anymore. Fantasy and reality overlap sometimes. I'm so desperate to make my fantasies real. That's why whenever I think about the girl I like, I strip her naked in my mind and pose her. Okay, well, now's not the time for that talk. Silence mode. Ah, oh. ah, oh. peace, quiet. Can I kill him now? So you're the one who made Kamaru come here by using that skinny white-haired boy, right? Right. Why would you do something that could compromise your own plan? Because no, it's all according to her actual plan. She wants her to become the successor somehow. Right? My plan. Was I right? Oh, you mean the children's paradise. Well, personally, I don't really care about that. Monica has a much more important job to do. Does it have something to do with the successor? 
Yep, that's right. The successor is the most important thing to Monica. And for that plan, I wanted you to come this far, Big Sis. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. She did call her that, right? I only remember that because I made a joke about it. I was like, audition! <laughs> but in the very, like, one of the very first episodes of the game, where she, she was on this ship originally, and they and she talked to her, she actually called her Big Sis, didn't she? So, yep, that's what she plans to do. After all, you are essential for the successor. Huh? Call that shit. Just what I'd expect from the little sister of the ultimate hope. You're so impressive, Meow. I swear to God, I've seen Meow one more fucking time. Completely <laughs> different than when I first met you. Now, you have the face of a savior. Savior? Kamaru has the face of a high school girl you'd find anywhere. Nah. But who cares about any of this? Hurry up and hand over the key to Master's room. Free me! Key? Monica doesn't have anything like that. Don't play dumb. Hand it over. Like I said, I don't have it. You want to strip search me to make sure? No, stop! Monica doesn't mind. But weren't you guys in a hurry? Uh. You want to break this controller, right? You want to stop Mr. Monokuma, right? Right! <laughs> <laughs> She's been hanging out with uh, Kameda way too long. It, is that... Monica Toa. Chief Executive of Toa Group Robotics Branch. What? They made you Chief Executive of the Robotics Branch? What? Is that just something she gave herself, or did her, her family actually do that? Oh, sure. She's only six years old. Let's make her. <laughs> let's make her a Chief Executive of this of her robotics. This is the magic that Monica invented. And as long as Monica has her magic. Monica can control the Monokumas and the Monokuma kids. You're the one brainwashing them too? Huh? You didn't know that? Mm -hmm. This idiot brat slipped up. In that case, I'll make you hand over the controller by force. And after that, I'm going to make you hand over the key to Master's room with even more force. Hmm. No. I don't think that's possible. After all, I have a trump card. A trump card? Uh-oh. A super big, awesome battle robot the Toa Group Robotics Branch created. Oh, no. Is it going to turn out that Haiji was, Haiji was actually evil? Or did she just manage to steal it? That is Monica's masterpiece. It's so much better than the other Warriors of Hope robots. Oh, Mr. Kurokuma, I leave it to you. Aww. Hell yeah! Leave it to me, Monica! What the f- yeah! Oh, here we go. What the? Whoa! Oh! Oh! What the chair is? What's that chair doing? Oh! Oh wait, is this the thing they were talking about, or Magic Robot Black Suspirian? Oh, maybe. Okay, maybe they meant this. I thought they meant the one high yet. Maybe they. I don't fucking know. Oh god! I'm ready to fucking set fire to you. Fucking do this shit. Let me find if I can just teach Jesus. <laughs> yeah, go down. Oh my god, I've been I've been waiting so long for this moment. Let's do this, picky penguins. Together! Black bear, white bear, hell nah! I'm my own bear! Sure, whatever. Uh, as expected of a final boss. This one's different than the other robots. Yeah, of course it is. Now let's do our best with the boom boom and beat this thing with a kablam! Well, that's uh, not how I would have said it, but nevertheless, oh, yeah, I'm getting I am a lot of batteries. pretty fired up. Got to use the, the blinking part looks suspicious. Oh! Tomorrow, let's end this. Yes, I get it, thank you. Ah, I see. 
Yeah, I'm in a lot Watch of batteries. Out. It might be a nuclear warhead. Or was it nuclear? Ah. No! Oh, dicks. This is for the sake of... Forget his name. The priest guy. The adults all hated. <laughs> oh. Watch oh, out. I've already got it an old... Okay. Okay. nuclear warhead. Or was it nuclear? Yeah, we made that joke already. One came out. There we go. Ah, stop. You gotta aim for him. Gotta aim... Oh. Blah 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 blah! Ah, 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 fucking dicks! Do you really want to save the adults that badly? Yeah, sure. Why not? Do you really want the burden of hope on your shoulders? Uh. Uh. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Okay. Uh. Stop moving so fucking much. The one that I made out with and bit his tongue didn't need to know that! Ow! Why am I letting this bitch hit me so much? Oh, now they're all lit up. Watch I can out. do this. It might be a nuclear warhead. Or was it nuclear? Shut up! A joke wasn't funny the first time! Oh, what the what the hell was that? Yeah, you know the Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh god. Alright, fuck it! Fucking dicks! I don't know if I can actually hit. Am I actually hitting it? I'm actually doing stuff, but I'm actually. Well. Ow! What happens if I do this? Oh, hey, it actually did stuff to you. All right, uh. Now this is straight up stimulating. What a shocking turn of events. Shut up. I can't actually cheese you with Fuck out. Fuck yeah. Hey, don't you? I was just about to go donate to charity. I don't fucking care. Is Monica about to move? Yes, you are. Fuck, I don't even give a shit anymore. I'm cheesing the fuck out of you. Cheese! So much fucking cheese! Ah, oh, fuck, I'm out, of, I'm out of cheese. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, whatever. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking even care. Watch out! It might be a nuclear warhead, or was it nuclear? I'm so sick of you saying that. Oh, oh god. Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Hey, there's a. Huh? All right. Well, what am I missing? Oh, there's one in his back, I see. This is for the sake of... What's her name? Um... The fighter who fell victim to the male gaze. There we go. Shut up. I don't care. I don't fucking care anymore. Die! Hey. Ah, that felt good. Would you like to save your game? Yes. <laughs> and she doesn't look. Of course, she doesn't look surprised or sad at all. <laughs> no! Not my gangster self! That guy was bitching! <laughs> Let your Kamaru wins again! I mean, Kamaru. I win. You're kidding me. Monica. Of course you did. All you did was use another giant robot. And all right, we are. I've already proved that I'm pretty good against giant robots. That's right. Now be a good little girl and just give up. 
Hand over my white knight, or I swear to God! Oh, no! Is Monica gonna be killed? I don't wanna die. Too bad, I'm gonna murder the shit out of you! Uh, Fagawa? Oh, fine, I won't kill you. But my genocide or side will! No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. You will get such a spanking! No! That's no good! If this controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail! And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor! That's enough! Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. Fine. That was easy. Thanks. Here's your I PSP. The Monaco must stop, and the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? Okay, so... Like... Everybody in the comments said this, like, for, like, the past, like, five videos. <laughs> we were like, Nico, please, when you get an option to destroy the controller, don't destroy the controller, because... Of fucking reasons. I don't know. Apparently, I, you guys said I shouldn't destroy the controller. Even though that is the most obvious logical thing to do. But it, I think you guys said it, I get more backstory or something. So, I'm just hoping I don't get a bad ending from it. Because I don't... I don't want to see that. Alright? I don't need any more bad endings in my life. But, alright, fine. I won't destroy the controller immediately. We'll see what happens. And then this uprising will be over. That's something I would not that have known was, to do, though. That's for sure. Well, it was kind of easy. <laughs> Is it really okay? <laughs> what? That was kind of anticlimactic. So that's it, we won? That's it? And all I do in the end is get a PS Vita, which I already have and I'm playing this game with? Hmm. Ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Or yeah. would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? I don't know. I was kind of hoping my hair would turn like white or something and I'd glow with a cool aura. No, that's Hajime's thing and that. You have to wait for that. Ah, oh, damn it! Just like your older brother. I, I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Master. So let's hurry up and end this. I'm gonna uh, give him a massage and a happy ending after this. really okay to break this. It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas and the brainwash gets lifted. Right. Uh... Should I break the controller? Don't break the controller. Okay. Wow, all right. I wasn't expecting to be like a big decision like this, but okay. Yeah, this is obviously... Is it? Is this setting up two different endings? Is that the point of this? That's what I would think, but all right. Just keep saying don't break the controller then. Like you guys said it like, I, apparently it's like I get multiple cho like multiple options for that. But I learned more about the story this way or something. If I get a bad ending, I'm gonna be mad at you. I'm gonna be mad at you guys. What are you doing? S sorry, something is concerning me. And it's not just how really deep my voice sounds and- Concerning you? Concerning you? <laughs> concerning or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesit- hes No need to hesitate. Just break the controller! End this already! And the game's stupid! You're right. No! Please wait! Ah! Hi. Y you? Why are you here? Or maybe you have to choose not to. Is this like. Sort of like where, like, Persona 4, where the only way to get the true ending is to do a sort of really. Is to do the thing you don't initially think you have to do, right? Because it otherwise just seems too easy. <laughs> Fuck you, you little shit! Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing. That would be bad. If it's just the Monokumas, that's fine. But the kids, we lose all the friends we made. Mm. If that happens, I'm gonna be all alone. 
I, I don't really care about that. What friends? You brainwashed them. But even then, I don't want to be alone. Please, Bertie, please don't take my friends away. I'll be your friend if you stop, if you stop whining about it. How about that? Kotoko's right. Don't break that controller. If you don't, I promise I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that either. You both suck at this. <laughs> You guys don't understand how negotiating works, all right? You gotta give me something that I want. I don't give a shit about either of you. Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko, why are you saying such mean things? We're friends. N no, we're not! You're just a traitor who killed your own friends! Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again. Shut up! Be quiet! Die! What's going on? Just let those idiots fight. Hurry up and break the controller. N no! Stop! Please, leave me just some hope. I'll even settle for just a little. W what hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? Miss Kumaru Naeki, please listen to Monica's request too. What? Please. Make the right choice. If you don't choose right, you're gonna replay this moment over and over. <laughs> it's just supposed to be making fun of other games that do this. I'm just gonna be doing this again and again, trying to find that good ending. Or <laughs> just go on forever and ever. And, ah, ah, I just want the game to end. Just go. <laughs> so make the correct choice and end this properly. Oh, this is it, isn't it? This is it. So if I break the controller, I'm gonna get a bad ending, aren't I? Ah, uh, so it is. It is the end of like Persona 4 Golden, where if I if I do this, it's just like walking straight into a trap. Ah, uh, you know, I figured it out in Persona 4 Golden. Oh, I should have figured it out here too. The that other instance, I could see like like this. It was really set up weirdly, and it just seems so ridiculous. This one, it's like I I don't know. I don't see the downs. I still don't see the downside to it. I don't know what's going on. Is it gonna kill the kids or something if I if I break it? Correct choice. So I get the choice again. Okay. Don't break it again. And then Monica, and then I mean Nanako runs into the room and dies, and I go fuck. <laughs> Wrong bad end. And I'm like damn it, you guys. Kamaru, what happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Because I'm busy playing my own game right now. Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty, lame penal colony? Didn't you want to be everyone's hope? Just like your brother? Stop making weird faces. I... I... Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. <laughs> the same stupid cutscene. Oh, hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? Yeah. Because this is a magic scene! A happy ending scene with all the Monokumas and Monokuma kids gone for good! Right! Ha ha ha! Well, guess what, you little shit? I'm not gonna do it! Ha! In your stupid face! I ignore her! It's okay! You didn't make a mistake at all! Kotoko, give it up. Watch the controller get destroyed. Sh shut up! You be quiet! Toko, what should I do? I will leave that decision to you. There's a dog barking outside. Shut up, doggy! I'm in the middle of recording! Gonna get the recording and mess it all up! Doggy! <laughs> <laughs> Not my dog, by the way. However, because I'm leaving it to you, I will share the responsibility as well. So, just do what you think is best. What I think is best. Don't you just sound like a totally different person? I don't know. Just not digging the decision to keep the voice deep. All right. Uh. 
<laughs> oh, okay. I was like, I thought that, okay, it just makes it, look at this. I was like, <laughs> break the controller. No, break the controller. <laughs> a little tiny the one was. When you move it, it gets bigger. Okay. Oh, I see, and it goes by the side here, because it's like, Monica wants me to break it. <laughs> All right. Don't break it, because I don't fucking know why. I really don't. I don't know what's going on right now. This is the kids die or something. I don't think it's a good idea to break it. At least, not right now. Th that's right. Good. Thank you, big sis. Thank you so much for not breaking Monica's special controller. Jeez, which side are you on? No, what? No, you're supposed to be pissed off. I thought this was... I'm confused. I thought you were going to be mad at me. And then I was going to be like, ha! In your face, little weird-headed, weird, green-headed weird girl. It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. What? Uh, cast? <laughs> oh, we're going to show off. Oh, my God. That would be uh, are the remnants of despair gonna come in and then blow my socks off? Hmm. He'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. Oh, is not or is not getting to run in here? See? His hand's on the door. Oh. That's just Haji. I don't care about him. Found you, Monica. See? Just like Monica said. Bullseye! <laughs> we do have a sibling connection after all. Wow, that was a really good guess. <laughs> also, I have security no. cameras. Why are you here? Big Brother came to save Monica, right? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> You're being so mean. Everybody's bullying Monica. Big Brother doesn't give a two shits about Monica's that. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Big Brother, save Monica. He's gonna smack her, isn't he? Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Who the hell's going to save you? Big Brother? Stop calling me that! You're not my sister! You're just the old man's mistake! I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Ooh, that was some crazy eyes he had there. That was a... Ooh, I was like, oh shit, is he like the master... Oh, no, he's just really pissed, I guess. Why? Why are you being so mean? Monica's just a child. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her place. And now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please, stop it, brother. I'm scared. Uh, uh, Mr. Haiji. So that's the controller for the Monokumas. Huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! I want my credits! Please stop! If you destroy the controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted! I won't be able to create the successor! I won't be able to inflict despair on the world! I don't care! How crazy are you? Now hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I-I-I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! I don't know what's going on anymore! <laughs> I'm so confused! I don't understand why is there stop yelling at me? You're making me stressed! What's going on? Oh my god, is he giving me the choice again? It's just okay. Oh my god. What is this? Why are you siding with those brats? I I'm not siding with them or anything. Did you forget what they did? 
If that's the case, then shut up and listen. Listen? This is not how I predicted the ending would go. This is getting weird. <laughs> You're weird. All of you are weird. Stop it. What is this? All this time, the people outside were watching. They saw you defeat Monica's robot. What? You did this, didn't you? You are filming all of this. Duh. Huh? Monica has no idea. They're still watching. They're waiting for you to destroy that controller. Give me my good ending. Everyone expects it from you. They're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare. You showed us hope. We were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. It's all thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. But if you still can't make up your mind, I'll just have to help you choose. Ow! Tell them what you've done. Everything. The whole truth. Then there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine, I'll talk. Huh? It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. Wait, what? That was a prank? <laughs> oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. <laughs> when you guys walked up the edge, I was letting go, just so you know. <laughs> and around then, Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. Sup, losers? The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Big Sis Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Take advantage? By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, Big Brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? Oh. What? It doesn't even make sense. Why would they give it to some little kid? That doesn't make any sense at all. I don't care if you're a, a, ch a child prodigy or whatever. It's like, that would never happen in the real world. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I was like, well, you'd probably be like, well, neither would not giant bears murdering the city and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I know, but there's certain things that were... I think there are always certain aspects of, the st of story. There are certain aspects of every story that have to be based on reality. Otherwise, it, it, it just gets stupid, right? And this instance, I think, is one It's like, really? I don't think anybody would ever make a child like that a chief executive. I don't care how talented they are. And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other warriors of hope were just bonuses. What are you talking about? There's no way someone would love you. Your own parents didn't even love you. Oh, God. Dude, she's gonna... Kodoko's gonna come over and fucking curb stomp your ass. <laughs> Enough. Just keep talking. I I'm sorry, I got it. Stop, big brother. Uh, at first... Big Sis Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass-produce machines, so that she could use them for the tragedy. 
That's why, to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas, concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. I see. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? Everyone loves bears! Ah! I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told him I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. Ah. Uh. And the adults actually bought that story? <laughs> really? Yeah, that is pretty stupid. Wow, they're not even dressed like maids and all they have are deadly claws and a, and a taste for human blood. I don't know. I don't see that as being helpful at all. No, it's more like we turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious, with a genius intellect. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, we let her do whatever she wanted. This brat took advantage of her position and started mass producing these monsters on her own. This is why you don't hand kids the key to a major corporation! I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Junko so happy. She started using them for the incident. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. Interesting. That's when okay. the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like a business opportunity. This little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. You made them, and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. <laughs> Just what a filthy demon would do. We didn't have a choice. We were in too deep. Huh. Interesting. This is interesting, guys. Uh, all right, this explains where all the Monokumas came from and why they were, why they were there. And I, was, I, I thought it was ridiculous when he said it's like, oh, yeah, they, they were originally intended for domestic use. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So I was gonna buy a a made bear. With the lightning bolt and claws and stuff? That didn't make any sense to me. If we went against the despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned. Or extinct. Anyways, Toa Group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. I see. Wow. Clever, clever, clever. So that is why this place is never targeted. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because they were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. I see. Those idiot adults didn't know that. So they worship Toa Group like they were saviors. Clever girl. Clever, annoying, crazy but girl. You better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. Uh oh. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. But the good times had to end eventually. Just when things were gonna get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. Ha! All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Yeah, Naegi's the best. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary, but Papa just said it's over, and gave up. 
like all the fickle wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. And you couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the Warriors of Hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. It was so happy. It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. Oh. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Bixis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Ashima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War! Huh? Causing war! If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? War? What are you talking about, brat? You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? So... Breaking it will cause a war? How? Break the controller and start a war. Wait. Why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Oh, hey, don't call Monica a liar. You told me to talk. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now. Huh? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. <laughs> and again, it gives me the choice. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> How many times is it going to ask me this? Don't. I, I don't know what's going on. I need some explanation on that. W wait, no. I can't break it yet! So, you're taking this little brat's word over mine? It's not like that! But please, wait! I remember! Remember... what? <laughs> How long is this scene gonna go on for?! A while ago, Monica and Kurokuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case... This is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode. Oh, I was right. So they would die if I break the controller. So if I break the controller, then the, the kids will all die. That would cause a war? Explode? Oh shit! Ow! Boom! Pop goes the weasel. Jesus! But all the Monokuma heads will blow up, and then headless children everywhere. Ah! Oh, come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made-up bullshit? But I'm serious. I heard them say it. You know, Monica would totally pull something like that. <laughs> That's true. She betrayed the warriors of hope. She could do it without even feeling guilty about it. So, 
so mean, Kotoko, making me out to be the bad guy. Of course you're the bad guy, you little weirdo. Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed. Bitch. Rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious! I heard it! That's enough. Destroy that thing already. No! Never, ever destroy that controller! Alright. I think Hi- Yeah. Haiji is- He's just one of those guys that is very- He's very headstrong. It just seems like he's- I don't know. Yeah, he'll blindly go into something. I don't know. I just... That seems to be one of his sort of character flaws. He's just insanely headstrong. Mm. Oh my god. Stop! No! Seriously, what is this? Like, the fifth, the sixth time it's asked me? Do you want to do it, huh, Nico? Maybe you change your mind now? Well, now you put it that way, I don't really want to break the controller. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. But even if there's a small chance they're not, I can't do it. The kid's wearing those helmets. They're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault. Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? Huh? After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly. Even if they all died, they had it coming. Ooh. You've seen what they did to us. They deserve it. You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Yeah. Maybe I am. But how could I not be? After what they did to us. Not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I fit through. Listen. Listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. It's hard to seem like though if I don't destroy it, it's gonna that's gonna cause a war. I don't understand how destroying it would cause a war though. Butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. Would it cause a war because then they'd be divisive like, oh you destroyed it and killed all the children, and then the other ones would be like, well, they deserved it? Is that But you were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. But you said that already! Are we looping in circles now? Do I have to just break this now? If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> you are... You're our hope. Please. Don't betray us. Destroy the controller, please. Please just... End this for us. We just want it to be over. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. You can't fool me. Me? No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Hmm? Are you talking to Monica? Mm. I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. What? If the children are killed, what would Future Foundation do when they found out? They think the adults who survived were behind it. Uh, oh? And then they find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. Oh. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. Future Foundation would immediately throw you all into a virtual reality, and then there would be just way too many characters to keep track of in Danganronpa 2. That's the idea, isn't it? Nope, that's not quite it. 
Because it won't just end with the war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world. They'd learn about the war in Toa City, and they'd come charging in. Kazuichi! <laughs> Here I come! Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko Enoshima. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. Alright, so I was not totally right about this then. Okay, so it, it wasn't that he planned for... She didn't plan for Kamar to actually become the successor, right? She actually did want herself to become the successor, successor, I guess. By, but wanted to use Kamaru to break the controller to cause this despair, which, okay, I guess, right? Are you serious with this? She can't be, she's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. Hmm, I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment hmm. they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of fuck up some people, I will admit. <laughs> they wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? Child victims have quite an impact on people. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. Man, you are some kind of bananas. Good lord. You take all the bananas, Monica. Even Kameda's bananas and Juko's bananas all into one big, huge, massive, crazy banana. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. Mm. I mean, adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? Right then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. Oh, man. Wow. 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 That's an elaborate fucking plan. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That was way more elaborate than I thought it would be. Whoa. <laughs> Bravo, Dong on Europa. Jeez. I was sort of a little bit like, like, a little disappointed there at the end. I was like, well, that was it? Like, Usually these Don Rogue games always have these, you know, huge twists in and I'm, I'm like, it seemed like this one, I was like, I don't know, it seems like everything, I seems like everything, I see everything coming here, but I'm, I'm glad, I mean, honestly, I'm glad, I'm glad when I'm wrong sometimes, you know, because I want to be, like, thrown off. You know, I've played a lot of games, I, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of twists, so I, so I know to expect, but this is, ooh, it was a doozy, it was a doozy, man, it's like, ooh, man, that was an elaborate plan. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? Mm. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, you're saying it wrong. It's oopa 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 oopa, or as I like to say, boo. <laughs> Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Kamaru's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing. Growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. <laughs> We're talking about it's always amazing. At times, hope can be a terrible burden. It can be a drive to hurt others, just like now. That's. What did you think would happen if you gave people who watch their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! Yeah, see, that's what I was saying earlier about, like, I didn't see any way that they were gonna, like, you know, inspire those adults without them having wanting to murder the shit out of these kids. They will turn into demons. Demons who live for revenge. 
you see. Just listen to them. Can they hear our conversation right now? Because I feel like they need to hear it by now. Yes. I get it. You can stop showing me that cutscene. Kill? But why? Why is this happening? It's because they've been waiting for you to destroy that controller for so long. What? Those people out there don't care whether or not the heads of the children are going to explode. Rather, they sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons. Oh, so have they they actually have been listening? So wait, you guys out there can hear me? Yes, kill them all! Do it! You realize we're playing right into our hands, right? We're gonna start a war and probably just fuck things over more? Yes, do it! Do it all. Okay, I'm gonna do it! <laughs> you guys are stupid, but I'll do it! <laughs> what? Seriously? And this is all your fault, Big Sis. M me? It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault, Miss Kamaru Nayagi. I swear to God, can we the creepy face one more time? What are you talking about? It's not Kamaru's fault, it's yours! Yeah. W wait! Listen to what she's saying. If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away. She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself. Then she would have her war. No, that wouldn't do. That would not be worthy of the successor, now would it? Hmm. She, she can stand? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh yeah, for Monica stood up. I'm oh, sorry, did I forget to mention that? Yeah, sorry, I can walk. Anyway. <laughs> That's not important right now. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? So anyways, what are you going to do, hmm? How are you going to end this? Are you going to kill the children and play the savior? Or... Are you going to spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die. And you're going to kill them. <laughs> wow. You know, I never really want to smack a child before until now. Now, it's about time you made your final choice. Okay, is this really the final choice? Are we done now? The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely. Is there any way to just get the helmets off the kids without this, you know? I mean, uh, so what do I do? All right, Niki would actually get the real choice to do this. Now you gotta do, you gotta do a code. You gotta down, up, down. Down, up, left, right, up, down, left trigger, right trigger, F trigger, and then you get a secret one down there at the very bottom that says, instead of doing either of those things, you stab Monica in the face with a soldering iron. What will Nico do? Will he break the controller? Will he not break the controller? Or instead, will he grab a non-existent soldering iron and stab Monica in the face? Find out all this and more next time on the finale to this fucking game. But seriously, this is where you decide to end your video, Nico. Here, on this freaking cliffhanger. That's a douche move, man.